from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top story is a major political development overshadowing the latest murder. This in the House yesterday. My name would never rise again in political cycles. My work is done politically. That's current South Andros MP Paxwell Forbes announcing that he's not going to be seeking re-election. He says he doesn't believe the leaders of the party are supporting his re-election robustly enough. Reporters also got their first chance to question former sports minister Lanisha Rose since she resigned. She told them that despite speculation, she did everything by the book and her integrity is intact. The prime minister has already announced that she's not the target of any specific investigation. Health Minister Wells confirming that the first set of the coronavirus vaccine has not arrived in the country as yet, as was anticipated. There's no clear indication when it will actually be here. The minister says he's not disappointed by the development, but they're still waiting. Latest corona numbers released by the ministry. Seven cases reported for Sunday spread over the capital, Grand Bahama and Abaco, down to 13 persons in hospital, two in the ICU. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Latest murder reported here in the Capitol last night. A man found with gunshot wounds in the area of the L.W. Young School. The victim dead at the scene. Police do not have an idea as yet. That is the 22nd murder for the year. In Abaco, police there are investigating a traffic fatality. A 23-year-old man died after he apparently lost control of his vehicle on the S.C. Boodle Highway in the area of Marsh Harbor and crashed into bushes. A major announcement by Prime Minister Minnis in the House yesterday. They're working on a property tax amnesty program for homeowners. Could cut a raise by up to 50%. Police filed murder charges against four persons in court yesterday in connection with recent murders, including a Jamaican woman, Nadisha Bankford. She's charged with the stabbing death of another woman here in the capital recently. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area. Partly sunny today. Highs from the low to mid 80s. 80 at Freeport, 81 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around noon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the low to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The Tribune has reopened to the public. So if you're selling a car, truck, boat, or computer, call us today on 502-2398. Advertising in the Tribune's classified trader works. So call us on 502-2398 or email classifieds at tribunemedia.net for your quote. And let us help you get cash in your pocket. There are great deals to be had every day. So get your copy of the classified trader every Monday through Friday, only in the Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines big boost in the fight against the coronavirus in the U.S., the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, the third to be approved in that country. It's now on the way, about 100 million doses in the first wave. Health officials optimistic this will help U.S. numbers continue to drop. Nigerian government officials have announced that those schoolgirls abducted by gunmen earlier have now been freed. And demonstrations continue in Myanmar, but the military leaders there are not backing down. Tribune's gas tracker prices: Shell 4.52, SO 4.42, Rubus 4.39 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. History for Buddy Hill in the NBA. Find out what he accomplished this week. There's a college sports update on Bahamians in school, including tennis player Sydney Clark. Get the latest on her. It's baseball time, and several Bahamian players are in the spotlight in the Tribune Sports. And there are pictures from the Roadrunners Track and Field Classic in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. 
Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.